Hello guys, what is up? In this video, we're going to show you how to use Talkie AI or Talkie Soulful AI. This is a tutorial and review. So to begin, of course, you need to download Talkie Soulful AI. Just go to Play Store or App Store, whether you're Android or Apple, uh, you're, you can download and play with this AI app. Uh, once you do that, you're going to be uh, welcomed by this visage. So the difference between Talkie AI, one of the main differences is that uh, Talkie AI is like snap not snapchat it's like a, a dating app so you swipe you swipe left and you're gonna be welcomed by you know whatever character and uh compared to like linky ai which when you go open the app it's going to be options by options and you're gonna scroll down right so uh but the thing is the sim the similarities there's a lot so when you open something from linky it's going to be the same like this. Uh, there's going to be an intro, which is your scene. And then you, there's going to be the first uh, dialogue that the AI will talk to you. Now, the difference, another difference is that with talking AI, literally by their name, if you switch like this. Wait, not, not this one. There you go. Uh, they talk. So every time that you talk to an AI. See? There you go. Let's look for a girl. Not that one. And another thing that's similar between the two is the 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 ton of ads that you need to bear. So you know, keep that in mind. You just need to skip this. And there you go. Let's 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 do this. So how do you use it? Uh, there's a chat bar on the bottom of the screen. So all you need to do is tap on that, and then you can just you know. Hey, right? And then press press send and you're pretty much this is the basics, right? Another thing you can do is there is a volume icon on the left hand side of the chat bar like this. It's the speech to text feature. Now, is this as good as Linky AI? Not as much because Linky AI is speech to text. It's not to uh, text to speech, speech to text. Uh, it picks up your speech and it turns it into sentences, right? So if you press hold, there you go. And you can talk if you're too lazy to um, type, right? Uh, as you can see, we can do that because we are recording, but it's it, it's it's serviceable, right? So that's another way to um, talk to your AI character that you like. Now, another thing that you need to see is that uh, under the chat bubble of the ai there are a few options there's regenerate go on and share if you tap regenerate it's gonna change uh the the answer of the ai the reply of the ai and you could choose here so as you can see here what are you doing you can just choose that pick that right <laughs> and it changes to the one you want now this is a different style between talkie which is this app and linky which we have another video of because Linky, you just regenerate and it's random. With Talkie, at least you have some sort of control, right? Go on, tap on that, and they're going to just talk, right? They're just going to continue talking until you reply, right? So that's a, a cool feature in on itself. And if you tap on the chat bar again on the light bulb like this, and here you could have actions, right? You, you could have a few actions. Uh, you look into her eyes. Do that. This is an action. This makes your your RP, your your chat with the AI, much more creative, much more interesting. So, and again, they, they react to those. Another thing you can do if your chat, if your conversation is not going the way you want it to, and you want to reset, it's very easy. Tap on the plus icon on the right hand side like this, and a few uh, options will appear. Now, if you want to reset, just click on the first option, reset, like so. A pop up will appear asking you that. Do you really want to reset? Because uh, Talkie will forget the conversations once you've reset and just click on reset and everything will go back to normal. Now, the difference between this and Linky is that when you reset your conversation on Linky, all of this will be deleted. Right? All of these will be deleted. Uh, this is a bit lazy in my opinion. You can, they could just delete that instead of like, you know, having that grayed out. But hey, it's the same thing. And you can also talk to 
uh, your AI via the phone, you can call them. So that's special time, type of special time. And you can just choose which type of conversation. Let's just do talk. And as you can see, we are. There you go. And then you can just tap on the microphone and, and you can. You just tap on the microphone and you can start talking with them. The same thing as, as chatting. Uh, if you want to look for a certain uh, AI, just go to search, which is the uh, microscope. And you can just see here. And there's a few op options here. You have play for fun. Uh, you have life coaches, which are the, you know, the philosophers and, you know, smart people in the annals of uh, our history. You have tools. Uh, which is helpers. You have something for math, for Japanese, uh, creative writing, and so on and so forth. You also have celebrity AIs. As you can see, there's Trump, Ariana's here, Elon's here, Taylor Swift is here, Kardashians are here. Uh, you have also emotional support. So this is a bit of a different flavor, a different flair compared to to, hmm, to Linky AI, where Linky AI is just pure experience and role play. Here, you have some help, right? Like if you want to Again, if you go to tools, if you need help with uh, with math, you can just use this, right? And you can so you can just put your math problems here and it can help you. It's kind of like ChatGPT in, in, in certain ways. And you can have emotional support, right? Personal therapist, a psychologist, uh, so on and so forth, which is probably uh, trained to act like a therapist or a psychologist, right? You have also anime games, game characters. So you have Naruto there, you have Makima, you have Mikasa. You have Bowser, there are different things in movies and uh, movies and novels. So movie and book characters are here too. So there's a lot of options here, uh, a bit more than, than Linky AI. So uh, Talkie does edge Linky when it comes to this, but it all boils down to how the AI is created because most of these AI characters are created by other people, by other users. So uh, how do you create a character? It's very easy. Go to the lower menu, your main menu on the lower part of your screen. In the middle, there's a plus sign. Just tap on that and a pop up will appear. Just tap on create my toppy. There is a 10 character limit per week, so you can only create 10 characters per week. So just tap on that. And let's say let's create a girl. Tap start in here. You could upload a re uh, reference image uh, and you can also have an image prompt. So to just tap on image prompt. Omen is drawing with brushes and color palettes in hand. I don't like that. So we could choose, um, and this is free, by the way. It's not, uh, it's not premium. So as you can see here, uh, it is a bit sensitive. There you go. Let's let's say this is a good prompt, and let's use. Uh, let's choose the art style. You can have anime, iridescent, haunted, shadow illustration. Let's go for anime, of course. Click generate. Now this might take some time, depending on your connection. Now, even if you have fast connection, for some reason, at least in my case, when it comes to using Talkie uh, or Soulful AI, same name, uh, it's a bit slower than Linky AI. Linky AI is very fast. Now, as you can see here, it's already generated images. Now, this is AI art. And as you can see here, uh, if, you, if you've used Talkie, Talkie has like four or five options. This has more, right? So we can just choose whatever image you want to choose. Uh, for this example, let's just choose this one. Uh, and then a uh, reference image. There we go. Uh, tap next for the next part. As you can see, it does load quite slower than usual. Now, you have a few options here. You have name, intro, which is uh, the introduction of the character, which is their primary dialogue when you start talking to them. Long description. Now, this is the most important part. Long description makes or breaks AI. Uh, or, or how they're good or, or how much they're 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 better than other AI. The shorter it is, the, 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 the fewer things that AI can work with when it comes to creating character. The more input you give, the better the AI can become. The more immersive the experience will be. Tag, it's just, you know, what kind of like AI it is. Prologue, you know, uh, it's your initial story. Uh, if you're too lazy to do this, there don't worry. You have AI writer here. Just tap AI writer like this, and an AI feature, another AI feature within Talkie will just fill everything up, and you can just you know like reload as much as you want. As you can see here, Serafina. 
There you go, Nave Serafina. Yeah, that, that, that's great. So tap next. And there's a few voices here you can choose. Let's just choose Attractive Girl. Uh, and then just click next. And then here you can, you know, just you can still edit by the end. To Serafina, a painter, sits with a paintbrush, teapot, and petals. So the pro prologue will, will be this. Uh, and you can also tap on the voice. So talking settings, public, tap confirm. There you go. Copy your agreement. Just say confirm. And now you have created your very first AI character in Talkie. That's pretty much it. That's the video. Hope you liked it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell icon. We'll see you on the next video.